I think this is going to be my last one, uh, more of my last video as far as um, going over equipment that I used uh, last week in our Sally's uh, 2021 Zone 5 non-motorized moose hunt. So um, I'm back, I'm clearing things up, I'm cleaning things, you know, that kind of stuff, drying stuff out. Um, today's actually Wednesday, got back on Sunday and, and, uh, so I'm just kind of going through things and I'm trying to get these videos done so that I don't have to go back and try to remember. As many of you know, 19 concussions, I don't remember things so well. So this little video is going to be about the things that I, I was wearing, the clothing. Uh, and I have to admit, I, I tried to keep it fairly simple. I did not necessarily take a whole lot with me in my opinion. Um, and I probably took too much. However, you know, I did learn some things. Um, you know, when you're going on a zone two moose hunt here, motorized, you get a bunch of stuff in a truck. Yes, you get out of the truck, you go for your walks and all that kind of stuff, but you're usually back at camp and, and fairly easy to get your stuff. When you're on the non-motorized and you're, you're, you're getting, you know, you're, you're going up, you don't want to necessarily carry too much. Um, so you have to be careful uh, about the amounts. Um, and we were fairly fortunate because we were at Wilson's camp. We were actually able to take a little bit more than what I might have had I been going way out and kind of staying just on my own uh, in a tent, as an example. So here's what I ended up taking. And, and I may have taken a little bit more. Uh, I, I'll try to remember to share a picture right here. Where I actually took it, I put it, all of my clothes pretty much outside of my boots in, that, in uh, a 20 liter uh, dry bag. And I'll, like I said, I'll throw that picture in here. Now, um, Merino. That's, in a nutshell, that's what I took, Merino. <laughs> Um, I had picked up a quarter zip, real light merino, um, from Decathlon. Um, and it's over 90% uh, merino. Um, Decathlon has some really interesting things at, at, at not a whole lot of cost. Four class, F-O-R-C-L-A-Z. Um, very light, long sleeve, quarter zip. Let me tell you guys, quarter zip or half zip is the only way to go for any of this Merino stuff. Um, so that's my light one. I took that. This was great in combination with my rain suit. And I'll show you the rain suit after. But if I was wearing my rain suit, I didn't need anything more than this while I was walking around. And even then, sometimes I got too warm. So that. I also have a thicker L.L. Bean midweight uh, quarter zip. All right, I had picked that up. I admit I really, really like the L.L. Bean Merino a lot. Um, yeah, this, when I was up there, kind of hiking around, especially on the warm days, this is all I had on. I had taken the, the lesser layer off and I had this one on and I had the sleeves pulled up. So I, I had a couple of picks where I was just wearing this. And then if it rained, I threw on my rain gear and I'll get to my rain gear. For bottoms, I know this seems, I've had these forever. I don't even know what the Hespeler, I think they're hockey. They're a synthetic. Um, and I pretty much thought if it was too warm for Merino, I'd throw on this synthetic ends up on the warm day. These were still too warm, but they were probably better than Merino. Um, that's the only real synthetic that I ended up wearing the whole time I was up there. Then I had my LL Bane midweight. These are 250, uh, again, right? Long Johns, um, these are quite frequently what I had on on the cold day, especially early on um, when we were sitting on the cold rainy days. I'm glad I had these on. I don't have 
because they're getting washed <laughs> and I forgot to get them out. I had a pair of um, really light Mark's Work Warehouse, um, I don't want to call them woods pants, like light dry pants, like the, the, they even have zipper off legs, um, but they were really light material um, on, on day five and six up there. I actually wore those and didn't need my rain gear at all um, outside of maybe hiking back on, on the Saturday, the last day I had to throw my rain gear on. Um, it was really warm. It was 16, 18 degrees on Friday, Saturday up there. So I didn't really need the rain gear pants on. It was, it was too, too warm. So it was nice to have those pants. So I would definitely consider that instead of, I thought I was going to hike around in my rain gear all the time, regardless, because it was going to be cold enough. Ended up, it wasn't cold enough. So my rain gear. This is uh, Sitka. I don't know if you can see that. Sitka gear, uh, Cloudburst um, is the kind of model, and that's called the Optifade. Um, Gore-Tex gear, I think they've discontinued this particular uh, suit, but I was very, very pleased. Um, as far as rain gear goes, I don't think it's as warm as some of the other PVC stuff. However, it's still quite warm. Um, so if you are hiking up the hill and you're wearing this with anything else, you're probably still going to, well, if you're like me, you're probably still going to sweat. But this has the full armpit zips underneath the armpits, and they open up quite a bit to allow ventilation in on both arms. The hood I found to be one of the better hoods as far as staying up and being able to see. The only thing about this material, this Gore-Tex, it's a little bit loud, so when your hood was up, it, it muffled things a little bit. Um, and then I have the pants, exact same, matching suit, um, with the uh, sus suspenders. So they're not bibs, but they have the suspenders. For me, that's important, just the way I'm shaped. <laughs> can't, can't put a belt on tight enough that this don't fall down my ass. So um, these are fantastic, and they have the zip all the way up, but not completely off, all the way down to the leg where there's a snap. Oh, I pulled those, got to pull those all the way up. But, so zipper in two directions. And then there's the snap. So you can get your boots on and off real easy. So if it does start torrential downpour, these are pretty easy to get on because the leg opens wide, wide open. But when you're walking, so long as it's the grass isn't wet, you can open these up and vent out uh, while walking. And I did that a couple of times on the way up when it wasn't raining. Um, still pretty warm though, but better than having rain pants that don't zip open. And uh, if you have a downpour and you got to put them on quick, that zipper leg is, is pretty important. This Sika rain gear, it, it tops in my mind. Uh, I bought it. It's, nobody give it to me. I don't have any, I'm a promotional staff for anything. So uh, I, I just don't bother with that stuff. So this is coming from a guy who just bought it out of his own pocket. No big deal. Um, and I love it. And I will probably be picking up some other type of suit. I like the white tail suits that they have. I do like Gore-Tex, but I'm looking for something a little bit quieter, in all honesty, for when I'm hunting deer and bear. Um, this, just a little too loud. I would prefer, I don't know what you want to call it, like that suede finish uh, on my deer hunting gear. So that's pretty much it. I, I mean, yes, I had uh, a thin set of merino gloves and I had uh, waterproof um, mittens that came up quite high. I didn't end up using the, the waterproof mittens. I did put the Gore-Tex gloves on one day. I have a Gore-Tex black toque. Um, not a Gore-Tex, I'm sorry. Merino. Merino gloves and a Merino black uh, toque. I do think I picked those up at uh, Decathlon as well. They worked out fabulously. They're in my gear all the time anyway. The Merino gloves that I have, I can easily shoot in. So I put my tab on. Big bang boom, keeps your keeps your fingers warmer. 
Um, and then worst case, throw that in my pocket. So, um, yeah, that was it. I, that is the gear that I pretty much hunted in. It was with me all the time. Um, the only thing, like I said, that I didn't show you was a pair of sort of light pants, um, that I wore on day five and six. Uh, and I didn't need really to wear the rain gear a whole lot. Although they did come out, um, on both days. I just put them on once it started to rain. So that's it. That's all for now. Unless you guys have something that you guys want me to discuss that you think I left out. Why, what did you use for this? What did you use for that? That's it for the zone five moose hunt, uh, gear reviews. Um, if you have any questions about anything, reach out and and i'm happy to do a little video on it but uh, other than that that's that's all you're going to see for the time being all right to the woods happy hunting we'll see you at the end of the season